Okay. Oh, stop. Yikes. Yeah, it still moves. <laughs> Say bye bye to the 35s. Time to get some 37s on here, dude. Oh my goodness. I can't wait. So I'm about to take down these tires right here too. The 35, 12, 50, 20s. These are going on the rear tires because the back tires are smoked down this truck right here. So I'm gonna throw the new ones on the rear, take this whole set off, and some is a pretty much like new set because the front tires are pretty much brand new. Throw these tires in right here and get on down to the tire shop, get it all hooked up, and see how she looks. Let's get to it. by 1250-20s Kuka Kanadi. I still can't get it right. It's a brand I've never heard of. Never, I've never heard of these. Um, but they're pretty uh, They're pretty fire. So fuel cycles. They said they've never even seen the wheel. They're the wheels themselves at the tire shop. So I guess it's a pretty new wheel. But these tires, dude, check these things out. Look at the sidewall too. Super aggressive. And the pattern here on the tread. Oh my gosh, dude. So, so sick. Super aggressive pattern. I have a three and a half inch lift, three and a half in the front, and then two in the rear. And the 35s just seem too small for that setup. This truck's massive. I feel like Toyota kind of designed this truck for big, big tires. Like the way the opening there kind of fans out the bottom too. Like 37s, perfect fit for this truck, the way it sits right now. I'm pretty sure, I'm nearly positive it's gonna rub pretty good. What do you think? Yeah, I think so too. I think it's gonna rub pretty good, so. Anyways, um, we'll, we'll figure that out in a minute. 20 by nine with the positive one offset on the wheels, fuel cycles in a matte black. And then uh, the 35, 1250 on 20 Kanadi mud hog mud terrain. Do you think we should get some steps now? Cause you might- I'm short. You, you, might, you might appreciate <laughs> some steps, I feel like. Yeah. I don't know, let's see, hold on. Let's see if I can get in nicely. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Oh, no problem. Yeah, we'll get some steps. Our real talk though, it's it's pretty easy. I mean I just kinda that's, that's pretty much all there is to it. And check that out. 37 exactly nice so perfect perfect 37 so yeah we have at least an inch more in ride height now too that's pretty much a wrap for tonight it's getting a little late in the day so tomorrow we'll do some testing on the road noise for one because i'm sure with them being a mud terrain compared to an all terrain mud terrains do slap the ground a bit harder so i'm sure they hum a bit more we'll find that out tomorrow also to see if we've lost some power um, I'm sure acceleration will take a little bit of a hit as well. And then, uh, I don't know, we'll go from there, I guess. Tomorrow, tonight, we have a function to attend to. Your niece just graduated, and you just finished your first year of med school. So a lot, big congratulations to everybody. That's what we're doing tonight. So yeah, tomorrow, we'll continue with the tire review and what I know of them so far. See if they hum, see if we have a massive loss in power and all that kind of stuff right there. See you guys tomorrow.
just fine. They grip pretty good too on road. Didn't lose traction one bit. Or power. Power's still all there too, so. Pretty good. Pretty good. So now I'm shopping for 40s. No. It's gonna make this talk, a truck like dumb talk. Then we'll definitely need some steps. <laughs> yeah. I'm kidding, I'm not shopping for 40s. Like going from an all train to a mud train is they're normally louder. Like a lot louder. These are actually pretty quiet. Yeah. Like you hear him a little more, but mainly from the outside, like when the windows are down is when you hear him. You don't really feel it, huh? It doesn't feel bumpier. You think it feels bumpier? I don't know. I can't, I don't know. It just is more noticeable. Well, we just hit maybe. a few bumps in the road. I think that's just yeah. a coincidence. That road was bumpy right there. That's true. To me, it feels almost no different at all. And driving wise too, like power wise, I don't feel any loss of power whatsoever, which I should normally feel coming off um, from a stop, but. Mm. It doesn't feel any different to me, honestly, at all. But it's probably because I went from the stock wheels yeah. to the 35s, and then from 35s to the 37s. So I've kind of gradually went to a 37, so to me, I don't see much of a difference. Um, MPG-wise, there could be a difference there. In the future, we'll find out, but in the meantime, uh, it's probably too soon to tell what the MPG difference is, but dude, power-wise, yeah. still rips. Yeah, it does. No difference at all. It's still pulling me in the back of my seat, so. So far, I'm loving it. Yeah. I, and we're so much taller now, too. Yeah, I know. It's, it's like so much taller. It's like really significant. For one, I mean, one inch. Yeah. It's a one inch difference in ride height. Yeah. But that's a pretty big difference. You notice a one inch difference yes, for sure. Yes, you do. So. I definitely noticed it. Mm -hmm. I don't know about you, but I like the hum. You know what I mean? That sound, the hum. Mm -hmm. Me too. I actually really prefer that sound. It just feels more like you're driving a truck, like something just more just aggressive. Yeah. Like you feel like you're driving like a bigger truck. It just the sound effect to it is awesome mm -hmm. since we're a little deprived now of the uh, masculine exhaust sound. Mm -hmm. Make up for it with the tires now, so we have more tire noise going on. So <laughs> we're doing we're doing okay. So I don't know how fast we're truly going. I'd have to guess probably another like five or seven miles an hour if I'm totally guessing. I'm not too entirely sure to be honest, but um, we're doing probably roughly like 70 miles an hour right now, and it's quiet yeah it's pretty quiet it's, it's really quiet it's actually pretty smooth no they're really smooth yeah. yeah so to simplify the answer did we lose power no i mean we did but not really noticeably oh. and are they loud no no not, not really at all you hear them if you look for it but they're not loud by any means What's up? Dude, oh my gosh. <laughs> it looks so sick. Dude. Mud trains with a move for sure. Such an aggressive wheel pattern or tire pattern. The tread pattern's so nice. I love it. How's it feel behind the wheel? How's it feel jumping out too? <laughs> I'm sorry we have no steps right now. <laughs> Oh, uh, maybe in the very near future, maybe we'll have those rock sliders. I think in a few weeks they can get me into the rock sliders, so we can use those little step right there. But oh my goodness, dude, insane! Like almost five the hood, feet. yeah, I know the hood's tall. You're five two. The hood's about as tall as you. Yeah. That's crazy. And look at the ground clearance we have now too. It's a lot of ground clearance right there. It's so sick. Yeah, an inch difference is, is drastic, really, off the ground. And I'm loving the stance to it, too. The poke is nice. Now, luckily, I don't drive gravel roads that often, if ever, um, unless I'm going out somewhere. So it's not like a constant problem where I get the fling coming up. But yeah, I mean, overall, these are a really nice tire design. Um, what do they call this right here? Spining, right? Or something like that? What's, what's the term for that? It starts with an S. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, 
um, what all these little lines are here. And some guys actually cut these themselves. And what it does is that it deflects the rain, gives you better traction when the roads are wet. So it's got that going on too. And just overall, a real nice, just open channel design here on the tread pattern. I like it a lot, looks wise. We'll see how they function off road in the rain when that comes, but dude, stuffed, <laughs> stuffed. That back tire is stuffed. So good. Oh, this is so good. Is it? Yeah. How about forties? <laughs> Would those be approved? <laughs> Another couple inches off the ground, not approved. No, uh, I have to trim too much. I have to trim way too much, huh? Yeah. yeah. That's the thing right now. So we're gonna see how bad it rubs right now. So um, go ahead and hop back in the truck and turn it on. And we're gonna see how bad they rub and when they rub. So again, these are a 20 by nine positive one on the offset. Um, 37, 12 and a half wide on the 20s. Keep going. Okay. All right, stop there. How far is it cranked? Like, so one full turn and then a quarter? Yeah, maybe. Okay. So one full turn and a quarter, it sort of touches the fender liner right here, but not that bad. So if we trim this right here, keep going, turn it more. Keep going, that's it. Okay, so that's maxed out right there. So we're not really touching too bad. Um, it's only rubbing the, f uh, the carpeted fender liner right there. Active air dam, this thing comes down. I don't think we have to trim that unless maybe if we flex or something like that, um, it might it might touch it if the tire goes up a little bit, but I still don't think so. I don't think we have to trim that at all, actually, to be honest. So the only thing I have to trim is this piece right here for the sake of turning right. Let me go to the other side though and see what's going on over here. Okay, so yeah, we're resting on this pretty good right here. Let me see what's going on behind here. Okay, so it looks like all we have to trim is that that carpeted fender liner right there. <laughs> we are so close to this guy right here, whatever that is. Might have to trim that up for just the sake of comfort. Even though we do clear it, it's, it's close. That's for sure, so. All right, turn it the other way. Turn left. Yep, it's going right in between the tread, so. Yeah, this guy right here needs a little trimmage. Uh, turn right, all the way. Let's see what's behind here. Okay, so this guy right here, this needs to be shaved or removed if that's possible. But I don't think it's be removed. Kind of seems like it's all one piece. So if we can take this guy off right here, I don't know what you'd call this, um, but yeah, we can, if we can either remove it, cut it off, trim it, something like that, and then shave this guy back a little bit right here, then I think we're good to go. And if you ask me, that's pretty minor trimming right there. So looking good, minor trimming, we're good to go. Yeah. That's insane. That's not bad at all, right? That's really good. That's really good. Um, put in drive and drive a little bit. Uh, inch it. Just go slow. I don't think it's really rubbing much. Keep going. Uh, we're good on this side completely. Yeah, it's awesome. Okay, now turn to the left. Yeah, to your left. Okay. Oh, stop. Yikes. <laughs> turn right a little bit. Yeah, there you go. Oh, never mind. Stop. Yikes. Okay, this side's way different. So if you turn it to driver, it rubs. If you go passenger, it clears completely. Like it barely touches the uh, the carpeted fender liner there a little bit um, when turned all the way right, but all the way left, dude, it's, it's brutal. So it's not bad. A couple things to trim, but that's all there is to it. So not too shabby. Toss her in park. I love it. Yeah. Substantial difference, truthfully. 35 to 37s, I mean, shoot, dude. And the all black look now, way, way different. So I guess to kind of conclude, it's not bad to go 37s on this truck with stock gearing too. I think it looks better on the 37. Oh, obviously. Yeah. yeah, it looks way, way better. Apparently the Backstreet Boys are playing over here. <laughs> yeah. Is that true? Yeah. That's why all the traffic's out here. The traffic. Bunch of traffic everywhere. Not here, but over over there. We drove by it. Pretty insane. Crazy. Oh, they have, a, they have a show right there. See the Backstreet Boys from there? 
Dude, the Backstreet 90s babies. Shout out to you guys. Shout out to late us. 90s. Huh? I'm the late You're the late 90s, 90s. Yeah, yeah. I'm kind of the earlier 90s. Over. You were there, they were over. You kind of missed you missed the Backstreet Boys train. <laughs> no, I got to experience it when I was a kid. You did, yeah. That right there is all I have for you guys today as always. Hope you guys enjoyed and I'll catch you guys on the next one. Till then, peace out.